Hey everyone, it's Sam here and I'm back with day number two of my Mata Surprise week. So this is the MTS Extravaganza and I will be sharing seven videos back to back from Monday through to Sunday. So yesterday, if you've missed it, it will be linked up here and also at the end of the video. And that was using the Flip and See and I used the Chicken Run at Dawn of the Nugget. Today we're going to use the Magic Colour Slide die. So I'm going to use the 5 by 7 one. And I'm going to be using it with the festive Shaun the Sheep, which is very, very cute. You've got this lovely 8x8 paper pad with a mix of toppers and pattern papers and backgrounds. You've then got your stamp set here, which is what I'm going to be using today. And this lovely image. I have already used this on another card and I've done an acetate pinwheel as well over on my mixed up craft channel so head over there and you'll if you just type in pinwheel you'll see it there but it was really fun and it was using the washi so this here been heavily used but it was using that as really the focus but you've got all these images are all coloured there you've also got your sticker sheet as well which is very very cute these would make really good gift tags for Christmas but they're also nice to decorate your envelopes along with the washi strips as well so as always, I've gone ahead and cut all of the pieces that I need. So, so I'm going to be using, like I said, the five by seven, but there's also the six by six mechanism and it would work with that as well. These, all of the product that I'm sharing has a discount. So if you click on the link below or also at the end of the video, you can shop the link there. It will take you to the product. So five by seven and I've already gone ahead and cut everything that I need. So this is my five by seven card blank and I've already cut this piece of card to go on the top. Um, was that using the die? No, you've got this one here. That was it. This is the next one. So I've cut this one in white and that is then going to frame again like so. So yeah, I've cut this one. I've cut that one there. This one was probably four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths about that. But that one there is going to go on top. So just cut that one. This looks really nice cut and mirrored card as well. Shows up that design really nicely. Then you've got your main mechanism piece here. I've cut that again using white. This is the Craft Stash 300 GSM Smooth cardstock. And then when I've cut it, you'll get the little score lines there, but I always just like to go over them with my scoreboard and then fold them. You just get a much neater fold that way and less likely to get any cracking. And I've cut it in this mirrored card here and it shows up the word pull really nicely. Alternatively, if you cut this just using cardstock, the pull doesn't really show up and you've got your arrow that you can use then instead. This one here is the one that you want to cut a piece of acetate with and also a piece of white card. So I've stamped the image here using the stamp set. So it's this one, like I said. And then I've cut it again using acetate and I've stamped the image on there. Now I'm going to just show the process of stamping onto acetate in a moment and the ink that I've used. I just want to finish off with all of the pieces that I've cut. I also then use this one again with the pattern paper, but I just focused on the bottom portion and just snipped off the top because that is going to go over this piece like so. And then against that white background, you see it pops more, whereas otherwise, you know, you can't really see it. So it's a nice way to add some pattern paper or just cover the frame, just cut the bottom part of that piece. Then this one here is your dies to cut all of the tracks that the pull piece will kind of run along. So I've cut them all using foam adhesive. This is the Craft Stash foam um, double-sided adhesive. Just pass that through and then we've got these dimensional pieces. If you don't have any foam, then just cut this three times and stick them all together. So you've just got that dimensional piece. You just want there to be, like I said, a track for the pull piece to sit in between. OK, so again, I'll try and link all of those things that I've used in terms of the adhesive and stuff in the description box below. So just to go over the stamping, because I've done this beforehand because I wanted to give this time to dry. And again, I just colored all this beforehand. So these two pieces here, what you want to do is make sure that you stamp both of them in exactly the same spot on this piece of card that you've cut. So I'm using my um, stamping platform here and I'm sitting it at the six inch marker. You could be at the seven inch, you could be right down in the corner. It's anywhere that you you know you can pop the same piece in the exact same spot. So six inches, pop that down, place my stamp on here, pick it up and stamp it. And then take this one away and then pop my acetate piece right down at that six inch marker again. Don't remove the stamp, leave the stamp where it is, ink it up again and then stamp it. And that way you've got 
your image in exactly the same spot on both pieces so that when you lay these back over the top, once they're perfectly lined up, you get that really crisp image coming through. I've got lots of the Magic Colour Slide tutorials already on this channel and I will link the playlist here so you can go and check that one out as well. I've made them with lots of different themes as well so there'd be lots of inspiration there for you. So first of all I want to stick this piece behind here. Okay you can see it fits very nicely into there. What I might do is just snip a little bit away. I'll stick this down first and then snip that away just so you can't see because I want to make sure the whole of the, um, the sheeps in the, in the view there. So what I'm gonna do is just add some thin tape just around these three sides. You don't need to go along the top. You could run a very thin piece through there, actually, I'll just show you, but you don't have to. But you see there, you can get a very thin piece through the top, but three, you know, the three sides is more than enough anyway. And before I just take that off, what I'm going to do is just trim, trim along here instead, because it's just going to be a bit easier than cutting it. Just trim across like so. Yeah, there we go. That works. So I'm just going to take the backing off. Now you want to make sure your image is the right orientation, because you could easily flip it and stick it back to front. So... I want it to be that way and I'm going to stick along the top first because then I know that that's definitely hidden and then the rest of it fits in perfectly. Make sure that's all secure like so and then fold that over and then what will happen is this piece is going to go in between and you'll see it's going to break up the image there so it looks nice on the front and then when we pull this up it will reveal the coloured image, which is why now I think it's easier to stick this one down. So I like to use my liquid glues because then you've got time to kind of wiggle it around. I'm just going to cover this back side and then lift this up and then stick it behind and just line that up. And it will just all of a sudden you'll get a really crisp image and you know you've perfectly lined it up like so. And then I can just place that down. I think that's perfect. You could now still wiggle that around, but that is perfect. So just give that a minute to secure itself. Whilst it is doing that, I'm going to stick my frame down here. Okay, make sure your acetate is all clear before this next step. So we're going to actually now kind of fix this inside. But I'm pleased with that. You can see again how that's going to look. Well, actually, that's going to be on there. Maybe I'll stick that down as well, just to give that a little bit longer to um, to dry. OK, so that's on there. This is now all secure. So these, if we just sit this back in and just lay it down within that space. Each of these are going to lie either side like this. And then this one is going to go at the bottom. So I would stick this one down first. Again, make sure that that's right in there nicely and then run that along the bottom. So that will stop that falling out now. And then these are going to stop it coming out when you pull it up. So I'm just taking the backing off, keeping it all again nice and straight, all in there. You want it running along the side of this green piece here. So I'm going to lay it down from the top first and then so it's right on the edge of this piece of card. Make sure it doesn't go over that tab. Everything will fit in just right. And then this one here. So again, right in the corner where the fold is and then just running it right down along the side there. Like so. OK, I've just bent these down slightly just so you don't see the bottom of this when it comes up. What you probably want to do is actually have them from the bottom up. I think it's the six by six you line them up. This one, I think you need to bring them down a little bit. But like I said, I've got loads of tutorials. It's remembering all of the little bits from every one that I've brought out. Sometimes I forget. But um, you see, it all works perfectly fine. But yeah, if you go up to the top like mine, I've just slightly unstuck them and just done them so they're facing down so now again with the pull tab all nicely laid down there and all even you then can bring this down and just kind of lay it down 
and now you've got this little pocket and now when you reveal you get your lovely coloured image and it's kind of got like a 3D effect to it that dimension but hopefully you can see there that nice crisp image and it goes right up to the top there there we go okay so now I'm going to add my glue onto the back of this piece and now to add some final decoration So that's the card all finished. But again, when you pull your tab there, it reveals that lovely image underneath, or it might be a message. Like I said, lots of um, inspiration on that playlist, so go and check it out. You can display this. You could keep that open, this, you know, up, um, pulled out, but um, you can still obviously display it like so, but I've got to be quick because that will drip otherwise. So I'm going to keep this laid flat for now. I hope this has given you some inspiration. It's really nice doing this series and it's kind of like, um, yeah, allow me to just have a play with all of these wonderful die sets that I've designed over the years. So I hope it's bringing you some new inspiration for any of you that already have these sets. And for anybody new, I hope you're enjoying it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. You can do so by clicking here. All of the product that I've used today, you can find here. And the playlist will be here that I mentioned earlier as well. Take care and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.